Husker football team has been working on winter conditioning the last six weeks, and we're delighted to be joined by head strength and conditioning coach James Dobson. You, you basically get back from the bowl game, give them a week or so off, and then get back after. What's, what have been some goals you've had for this group? Well, I mean, this is a, a brand new year, brand new team, so there's a lot of different things that go into that. In our offseason, we're really trying to work on a few things, you know, strength, power, acceleration, some conditioning, skill sets. And we got to cram that all in the next five to six weeks, and so it's a busy time period for us, but we're trying to see improvement in all those areas. With spring ball starting on March 2nd, that's early. You've had a early. smaller window. How has that changed yeah. things? It's, uh, we're trying to put a lot of things in in a small amount of time, and it's, it's new to me. It's new to our staff as far as how we're going to train guys in this time period. So we're trying some different things uh, to help us, you know, prepare ourselves better for spring ball. So it's been, it's been a whirlwind. We've been going hard at it for the last five and a half weeks, and then hopefully we you know, set these guys up to have a good spring ball. Talk about the work ethic of the guys that you've been dealing with. It's, uh, it's been good. It's been really good. We've got guys now here that are going in their fifth year again and what have you, and and they know what to expect. They know our environment, our culture, um, how to go about things, and they've been doing a good job. They really have. How much progress did you see in the fall from the kids who didn't play, the red-shirted kids? How much can they develop when they're not worried about playing on Saturdays? Uh, you know, we have a, a good program during the season to get those guys off into a good start as far as their first college experience in football and string conditioning and, and uh, scheduling academics and what have you. And in the winter when there's not a lot of football going on, it's more training. These guys make a good jump, and they really do. They're, they're very comfortable in the situation that they're in. They're able to go and put the foot, you know, foot forward to, to get better physically, and they've been doing a good job, seeing some good progress with the young guys. You also uh, welcomed three kids on campus in January that yeah. finished up either high school or junior college or whatever and got here early. How advantageous is that for those three guys? You know, I think it's very advantageous if, if an individual is mature enough to handle it. And all three guys we had come in in January, very mature young men. They've done a great job, but they get an idea of what it's like to be in college first and foremost, and they get an idea of what we're all about as far as strength staff. And then when they get into spring ball, they experience football in the college setting for the first time and get used to the coaches. So when they get into the summer, they're ready to go and hopefully fall camp. They reap the benefits of coming in early. Once spring ball begins, practices are a little more hit and miss than they are, say, in August or during the season. Do you still then have your hands on these guys with, with strength and conditioning during spring practice? Yes, we do. We train during the week. Uh, Non-practice days is when we train. But these guys really you know, train uh, pretty much year-round when it comes to the physical performance part of it. So we'll, we'll deal with these guys during spring ball also. How much does your profession change? I mean, how much are you adding new things to, to think? Well, I think, you know, spring conditioning is a lot like medicine. It's ever evolving. New studies done on the human body and performance and recovery, nutrition, I mean, you name it. So we got to stay on top of our game. We have, we have a service to these kids to bring them the, the best ideas, the latest technology to help them in their performance. And so we're always trying to tweak things a little bit here and there to get these guys the edge to, to continue on and, and help reach their goals in this four or five period that they have at Nebraska. Well, we appreciate you sharing some of this with us and let's keep these guys healthy. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. James Dobson, head strength and coach for the Cornhuskers. When we come back, we'll talk Husker baseball with Darren Erstad.